okay guys so today i wanted to show you my workflow for like kind of multiple tool change uh, on this uh, cnc machine uh, as an example i will kind of covering some uh, uh, bit more complicated model compared to the smiley face as i showed you before so let's get started okay guys so i just found this uh, website just uh, have some uh, 3D motor just uh, you can download for free and do some CNC with it so I just going to choose this one because uh, well I like Joker so I just going to download it and uh, you would have to like create an account and sign in so you will be able to just uh, download the file here okay so now I'm just going to open it and uh, extract it. So my workflow for this is just uh, I'm going to have to kind of fix the mesh first because it's always have some kind of an uh, error. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to use uh, some program like Mesh Lab uh, here. Okay, and I going to import the mesh. So I just go to download uh, Joker and uh, open. Okay, you're going to take some time to load uh, unified duplicated vertex vertex. So we say okay. Okay, so now it just re export it. I uh, export it. So export. And uh, here, what you do is just, well, I don't need the color. Uh, that's it. And I say OK. So you're going to save the file in the same name. And uh, OK, now I can close it. And uh, I wouldn't have to reduce the mesh uh, size for. Uh, Fusion 360 to work with because uh, I don't think Fusion 360 work well with uh, mesh like over 12,000 points. So I just Google like STL file uh, mesh reducer. Okay, and uh, I have used this website before. It's uh, work quite well. So I just choose file Joker and open. So uh, you will have to wait a little bit for the um, mesh to be loaded. Okay, now it showed up here. And you can see that this has a lot of uh, triangle and vertex. So just reduce it to about 12,000 or less. That's the kind of number just you can work with uh, uh, in Fusion 360 and you just save to file. So it's just download the file here. Uh, so it's called 3djoker3dless.com uh, simplified. So next step it just opens Fusion 360. Okay from here you just uh, Go to insert insert mesh and uh, choose the file just you just got. Okay, great. So now what I'm going to do next is just uh, go to model manufacturer. Okay, now just uh, click on setup. Uh, okay, you have to choose the motor, so click on this mesh and uh, box point. I usually do the this one at the corner and then uh, go to the stock. I probably put zero on this and just leave one millimeter from the top here and then I click OK. Okay, next step, then uh, what I'm going to do is just go do some 
adaptive clearing so select the tool uh, for the rough uh, clearing I just going to choose a 4 millimeter uh, end mill flat end mill so just OK and disable I mean I always kind of go slow so I go like 9000 rpm and 800 millimeter per minute uh, well the this is the plunge, plunge rate is just generated by itself when I create the tool so stock on tour I just leave nothing here rest machining it doesn't have rest machining yet so here you have to reduce this to one uh, well that's it here well, I have to reduce this because my machine is doesn't work so well uh, it's not really powerful I have to put one fine step down I mean it's just roughing so you probably just want to do like very little fine step down stock to leave I'm going to leave about 0.2 millimeter uh, and uh, okay and I actually I probably put zero it's only leave like the radio stock Okay, minimum retraction for it to go faster. What else? Uh, I think that's about. It. So I just click OK and wait for the two pass to be generated. Okay, so now I have this two path. I just going to simulate it. Uh, okay, I put two transparent. Show up the stock go really fast okay so we have a roughing uh, area of the joker's head so now what I'm going to do is uh, close this and I'm going to do uh, uh, create a D right uh, operation go to 3d milling and go parallel so uh, this I'm going to choose the uh, balls nose and mill just a one millimeter uh, like uh, diameter just uh, to make more details so I just disable this from here no I don't you really like choose much here okay is take the setting from the other two path what I'm going to only here I go to machine stiff area so I just go like a bit down in the corner like in the pocket and everything so I don't leave any stock well that's it I click OK okay so now I'm going to just go parallel like this let's simulate this to see what it look like so I can just hide the model and see only the stock so I'm just going to simulate and go real fast awesome it start to look like something okay it start to look like the joker so I'm going to do another pass like uh, uh, this way so it's kind of look a bit smoother I hope so I'm going to do this go to create the right parallel path and uh, the only thing I'm going to change here is just go put 90 degree here and click OK OK so now I have these two paths I got just going to simulate all three simulate and go real fast okay it look pretty good okay uh, I see here that some part didn't get machined 
I think because uh, I forgot to put some like, additional offset on this two, two path so I just go here silhouette and I just put additional offset I just put probably one or two millimeter let's put uh, one millimeter is the diameter of the bow nose so I just put one millimeter it'll probably be fine okay and now you can see just it go all the way down here so it probably okay and uh, similar on this one I'm going to do this one millimeter okay let me try it again so go to simulate and uh, go real fast okay now you can see that this machine all everything here so I mean it looked like something to me so I just going to use this uh, just for the demonstration uh, purpose so here I want to have to save these two paths separately because, uh, compared to these two uh, because it is different tool and uh, because it doesn't have automatic uh, tool change uh, in a uh, 3018 CNC machine so that's why you have to do it uh, manually and save the two paths separately so just like uh, process this one first Okay, here I just going to put like Joker to one, and uh, then uh, on these two, I just post process them together, and I do pass, and I do Joker to two, save. Okay, so now I'm just going to go downstairs and show you how I'm going to do the carving. Okay, for carving the joker, I just use this piece of pine wood. It's a bit bigger compared to the stock just I have on the computer. It probably doesn't matter if it's bigger, it wouldn't be a problem if it's smaller. So I just want to fix this one on here and start with the first tool. Okay, to fix this, I just going to use some piece of uh, mounting tape. It has been working really well for me, so I like this setup. Okay, uh, now let's put on the tool. Okay, so now I just going to align it to this corner and use the two prop here to prop the uh, Z axis. Okay, for the Z axis uh, two prop, uh, if you want to know more detail, just go to my previous video. So I just want to do it very quickly here. Okay, now what I need to do is just I'm going to load the first uh, tool path for this tool and I start to cut. Okay, so now the first roughing pass is done. I'm just going to move this out here and change the tool. Okay, at first I was worried about like changing the tool and make this kind of like the spindle like move and then the machine will lose the position of the uh, X and uh, Z axis 
but actually the anti-backlash uh, like ball nuts in here, it actually work quite well. So uh, it's not going to move even if you try to push. So it's a really uh, one of the good thing about this machine. So let me just do the uh, Z-axis tool prop again uh, and then uh, start the finishing path. And it actually one of the reasons just I cut the stock a bit like bigger compared to the size on the computer. So I have the left over here. It's the same high at the beginning. So I can just prop it like at the same high as the, uh, when I start the path. Now I just load the other two paths and just run. Okay, so now it's done. Let me just move it over and see what I get here. Okay, as you can see that it actually looks quite good. Uh, it's smooth and uh, you can see some details like the cord, the eyes and the wavy hair. It actually looks like the Joker. So this is the way I do multiple tool change on this CNC machine.